Team Infamous running the Celeste, Catherine and Koshka with Team Hectic Crew running the Vox, Glaive and Rona. So a Glaive-Rona combination coming in um, for Team Hectic Crew should be interesting who plays the Rome position here. I believe it's going to be possibly Glaive doing... Yeah, Glaive is going to go Rome for Team Hectic Crew. Whereas Infamous rocking a standard uh, tank with Catherine. Koshka, interesting, interesting, interesting. So we're seeing here something a little bit different. We're going to be seeing a lane Koshka, which we haven't seen since the days of 1.3, 1.4, really. Um, so this will be really interesting against a Vox who has uh, that resonance to get him extra shots onto Koshka. This will be very interesting as well to see how this works. Jungle, uh, Jungle Celeste is becoming a thing nowadays simply because her lane clear is so fast, uh, as fast as Koshka, and uh, still a lot of reach and power and vision with those Heliogenesis. On the orange team side, we've got OJ as Arona paired up with Cake as the support glaive. Interesting choice here. We're going to see a three-man invasion here. Infamous going at them really, really strong, really, really aggressive here. But unfortunately, there's no farm to take, so it's a lot of walking. It's a lot of walking. We'll see uh, if they can grab any farm here. Um, not sure if they're going. There's a scout trap place there in the enemy jungle. Always good thing to do when you get in the enemy jungle to get that. There goes a stun, but doesn't seem like they were able to steal the farm. But they're going to try again and steal, try to steal these doubles here. Uh, interesting how Glaive here is the one who's gone the roam. I mean, he, he has more HP, more armor, but as you've seen in previous games, Glaive being a damage carrier can really carry a lot of the team, even 1v2, 1v3 in a lot of cases, um, provided he's got enough damage and enough stacks on his blood song. So interesting to see this. Um, again, we've got that Lane Koshka. Ivan rocking the Lane Koshka, the Crystal Bit, and the Book of Eulogies. Interesting thing about the Lane Koshka is the rotation speed is so fast. You could just see right there how Ivan had the speed burst, the passive perk of getting a speed burst, and was able to literally go from the lane to the jungle shop in like a second and a half. Very aggressive. There is the scout trap in the enemy lane bush. Really cr critical thing to do when you are going to push up like that. Make sure you have vision in that lane bush. Looks like they're looking for a possible gank. I don't think they're going to get it. Missed core collapse from Amin. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get that. Has a birch. Getting away from that. Using his boots, in fact. Oh, no, not using his boots. He used his dash to get away. Oh, no. Look at the afterburn fail from Cake to try to get away. But he does knock back Koshka. Now it's a 3v3. Scout Trap's gone off. Infamous Armin. I'm in caught in the in that. Uh-oh, he's going to go down, and he does go down, but he does take out Hasaburchi as well. Cake goes down as well, having no defensive items. They're chasing down OJ. There's the stun and an early ace, a 3-minute and 15-second ace for Team Infamous here. So you're seeing the power, the power of both a strong Heliogenesis coming in from Amin with two crystal bits. And in Ivan now rocking the Eclipse Prism. Well timed stun there from Lin at the end, just to lock down that kill on OJ. Um, you're seeing how how quick also that Cake uh, Cake had went down. The Glaive went down playing the support Glaive, not having any defensive items. So good recognition from Team Infamous to realize how soft the Orange team was and to just continue to go at them. However, it's going to let them get a little bit of farm here. So the farm differential is not major yet. It's still within reason. 3.4k for blue team, 2.08k for orange team. But I will guarantee you, you will see much more stronger aggressive play coming from Infamous here as they feel they probably have an edge up. Let's head back up to the lane here. Uh, Hazel Birchy. There goes an up kit, uh, uh, pounce on has a Birchie, infamous Ivan probably not going for the kill, just trying to push back. Has a Birchie a little bit here. Ivan getting those crucial last hits and the healing from the Book of Eulogies on to all of those uh, minions, lane minions. 
has a Birchie pot uh, using a pot there, trying to get some heal back. And once again, down in the jungle, here comes the invasion. Look at the quick take on the minion mine. They figured probably they figured why not? We're here. Might as well take it. Put pressure on the enemy team once again. Now in patch 1.7, there has been a gold reduction for lane minions onto the minion mine. The devs have stated they want players to try to take minion mines more quickly and not leave them to the last minute. So they've reduced the gold uh, bonus from 10% gold lane minion gold bonus to 5%. And here comes a quick action. Core collapse comes in, stunts out, kick. Here commercial is pursued. He's going to go down with a supernova. OJ using the jump to get out of that. And so they've owned orange team has only lost uh, cake head. Uh, interesting why he kind of stuck around there. He kind of stuck around when he knew they were coming. He could see he could see Celeste coming in with the boots to get that core collapse. I would have after burned out right away. Instead, he took the he took the death. Um, almost as if he, he kind of gave up there and was like, okay, just kill me. <laughs> you know, um, could have after burned away there on that faster. And here you go up in the lane. Ivan trying to escape from Hazard a little bit around, ring around the Rosie here. Uh-oh, he's a little bit in trouble now. He may go down here. Wait for it comes out. Needs one more hit. Does get it. So remember now the wait for it from Hazard does have resonance attached to it, which is why he was able to do his A skill jump and get the double shot on to Ivan there. So Ivan being a little bit aggressive and pushing out there isn't going to hurt them too much, I think. And in, in the end, actually getting a few more hits on the turret, probably creating some pressure for blue team here. Not a big deal here. Level differential, 7, 6, 4 for blue team, 4, 6, 8 for orange team. So actually has Birchie having an opportunity here to kind of carry his team. Going to be very important to carry his team, actually, in fact, because... Um, his team is way under leveled here and probably more than a little bit gold starved, but it's not too bad. It's still not too bad. You know, I expected it to be a much wider gold, um, gold differential here. You're going to see all of them pushing towards a the turret. There's a stun on cake head. Not sure I would stun that though, simply because of the turret angle that's going to happen when you do that. That's going to force blue team to back off a little bit. I mean, is in there to put some hits on the turret. They want to drop that turret really fast. They want to drop that turret. So all three are in lane pushing. Cake for it. Looking for an opportunity to go in with an afterburn, I think. But I don't think he's going to be able to. Ivan just coming down. There goes the crazy cat in a frenzy. The double stun. Stun on Cake Head as well. So they split stuns there. They could have done a triple stun. They didn't need to. They recognized that. Uh, the Merciless Pursuit. Here comes a blood miss on OJ. Not enough. Will Cake Head go down? Yes, there is a good ace there a pretty good ace i mean they really needed the ace in fact and they got it um orange team they're trying to push there i think not a good idea just protect the turret you're 3v2 you're not gonna win that team fight i think um some there's a nice core collapse and a double stun has look at that supernova doing 308 damage has needs to get out of there the turret's been aggroed but the ace buff on the minions Super strong and eating away at that turret. The turret may go down and there it goes. Turret destroyed. Two turrets down. Eight minutes, 15 seconds in this game. You're seeing Infamous show their strength here and going at Orange Team with a vengeance. Take a look at the builds here now. Uh, Amin rocking the Eve of Harvest and building out the Broken Myth. Almost there with the Broken Myth. Ivan uh, going with the Aftershock now, and the Reflex Block probably just getting the Reflex Block to prevent the Afterburn from Cakehead. And Lin rushing the Frostburn, a good idea to rush Frost, or sorry, rush Fountain when you've got squishy characters like Koshka and Celeste. They're going to push ahead. Ivan has his ultimate up now, could go in with the Crazy Cat in a Frenzy, but Orange Team also have their... Um, have all their ultimates up. There's a silence. Trying to clear the minions. Wait for it comes out. Ivan gets hit with that. Cake hit coming in. Lin dangerous, but here comes the solar storm. Crazy cat and frenzy on. Has a person. Has a person in trouble with the soul with the the heliogenesis. There's an auto attack. They're gonna push and try to get that 346 on that heliogenesis. Good push from Amin to recognize that and get the well timed heliogenesis there. I thought. Hasabirchi was going to get away with his life there, but the boots being hit 
from Amin to get the kill, and another turret drops. Good timing. So the ability for Infamous to recognize when they can push, when they can push to get that kill, and then thus the payoff with the ace buff, really, really crucial here. Other teams, other people should take note here. You know, there's a difference between being aggressive and diving in just to dive in versus when you know you're the risk and the reward, the reward pays off. Right? When the reward pays off more than the risk, that's when you want to do something like that. Orange team's just going to buy their time a little bit now. They're going to take back their minion mine, alleviate some pressure onto their lane. But they need to be very careful here not to get stuck out. They need to stick together. They need to find a weakness. One of the infamous members might overextend. As you saw earlier, uh, Ivan maybe perhaps might overextend. And that's where they need to counter and try to lock down that kill. Ivan comes in on Cakehead. Uh, he's not doing anything. He's just standing there. I don't know if it's a connection problem or what it is. Might be a connection problem there. He might have disconnected there. Uh, interesting you have a clockwork on Koshka. Interesting. Obviously the cooldown acceleration and the energy... Also helping to get the skills up faster. Here comes Kickhead back into the mix. Crazy Cat in a Frenzy goes in on Birch. He takes him out. 3v2. OJ in trouble. Tries to hit a Blood Miss. Not close enough. Not fast enough. Kickhead is going to go down here. He's hit his boosted escape. Merciless Pursuit coming in. No, because of turret aggro. So they're going to just let him ride. And they're going to take down the turret. But turret aggro is out. It's, it's all about Cakehead right now trying to come in and help, but it's not going to be enough. Here goes the Afterburn in, knocks away Infamous Emin. Here goes Wait for it. 534 damage that Heliogenesis eating away Kekar. He goes down. Hazabirchi also melting from that Heliogenesis as well. Look at how much damage Amin is doing with those Heliogenesis. Just taking out all three of the enemy with those Heliogenesis. And that is going to be GG for Infamous as they take down the vein and there it goes there goes the vein crystal and they are now gonna go there and um if you look at the builds here at the end uh i'm in rocking the eve of harvest and rocking the broken myth super important pretty much the go-to build for every celeste player out there eve of harvest broken myth pretty much all you need for celeste uh, a good job from lynn on the timed um, stuns there understanding that you don't need to triple stun one target you can double stun a target and then stun another target that engagement there where they had locked down has a and then Lin went and stunned the glaive to prevent any to prevent him from after burning away good recognition there rushing the f um, fountain really important when you've got two squishy characters such as a Koshka and a Celeste on your team Koshka going lame there showing that the lane Koshka may not be completely dead um, with the Book of Eulogies helping for healing, but getting that Aftershock, and then, interestingly enough, getting the Clockwork. But you notice Koshka rushing the Reflex Block in the beginning, perhaps a little bit wary of the knockback from Cakehead. Cakehead, in this instance, going for a roam position, something that you used to see a lot. You used to see Roamer Glaze, you know, going with all defensive items and then going with a breaking point. But... These days, I think it's a real shame if you're not leveraging the power of the current meta, which is Glaive in the jungle, doing massive amounts of damage. You saw in the previous game how much damage that Glaive can do when he's got the right items and the right weapon speed. He can just massively destroy an entire team at once, even. So I, I think, you know, um, having a reversal even of Rona and Glaive, something to consider. I think Rona's just really, really, really squishy right now. Um, not quite sure if uh, Rona is a viable character right now at high tier play simply because of her such a low, you know, HP and more of an end game character. People running the double serpent's mask, running the breaking point, things like that. This build here, had this build been more on the glaive, I think would probably have done better for Team Hectic. Has a Birchie. Um... Seems like he was gold starved. Yes, he was 3,796 despite being in the lane and having 88 CS. Only able to afford a alternating current is not enough crystal power to really do too much 
with his damage potential as you would see the wait for it come out and not really deleting the enemy as it normally would if you had enough crystal power. 16-3 in favor of Infamous. 12 minute 18 game, the fastest game we've had so far. Congratulations to Team Infamous for taking the win.